Hello, my name is Nathan Harrison. I'm at Team Hard's headquarters today, and this is what I'm racing this year, this lovely Porsche 911. I'm Josh Stanton. I'm at Team Hard HQ, and this is what I'm racing next year, Porsche Carrera Cup GB. How are you feeling, Nate, about getting out in that portion this year? Starting to get itchy feet. I can't wait to get out on it. It's a new challenge um, for me. Obviously, my whole career has been front wheel drive. Um, to jump in this rear wheel drive, it's like resetting again, but it's a challenge I'm looking forward to. What are you feeling about racing this Porsche this year? Yeah, no, really looking forward to it. It's going to be a big challenge, but um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Should be good. Um, nice and fast rear wheel drive, so it should suit my driving style, your driving style quite well. Um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Should be uh, should be good fun. Nate, I, I haven't followed your racing career, mate. I don't really know what you've done. Uh, explain to me what you did last year. How'd you get on? So last year I raced in the Mini Challenge, um, which was a sports series of the uh, Toka package, um, British touring cars. So actually we, we won the championship. So that was a that was a good year. Um, and like I said, I'm at the stage now where I want to progress progress up, and I think this is the the right platform for me. So what did you race last year then, Josh? Uh, I was your teammate last year, Nate. Um, we, uh, we were racing the Mini Challenge, um, the second year in it, um, completely you know, new to front wheel drive, um, new to car racing. Um, got, on, got on quite well, we are making some good progress, but you know, we've, we've always wanted to go GTs, rear wheel drive, um, and this opportunity came up and would be mad to say no, and um, you know, incredibly lucky to be doing it with, with Team Hard, very lucky. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it, can't wait to get going really. Nate, what are your flaws, what's going to make you good in this car? I know you've got lots, but just, you've only got a, Five minutes or so, so give us a few. I don't know really. I've always had the mindset. I'm on a race weekend. I'm so chilled, and I just I just take it race weekend by race weekend. Um, but for me, it's just getting my head around this rear wheel drive this year. Um, but I believe I hopefully can pick it up quite quickly. Um, in my target is to try and win the pro am this year, um, and hopefully try and get some podiums on the main main podiums with the pros. So nothing really to focus on is just just to get my head around this car. That is literally it. So, Justin, what makes you think you're going to be competitive this year? Well, I think I'm quite smooth as a driver. Should should reward kind of rear wheel drive being smooth and, and progressive on the throttle. Uh, quite methodical in, in my thinking, setting myself realistic targets. Um, my target's to be competitive in the AM class this year, so um, that's really my target. Um, but yeah, it'll all uh, it'll all come out when when we get to the first test day. So uh, I'm looking forward to that and seeing how we get on. No, I agree with you being smooth. Because obviously, last year in the minis, we we, we worked together. Um, so I think that is going to work in this Porsche. The driving style is being smooth. So that's a good one to have, I think. Yeah, yeah fingers crossed. Favorite food then? Oh, God. I like prawns, like chili, chili and garlic prawns. I know it's a bit weird when you're out you're out in out on holiday in the med or somewhere. Chilling garlic prawns, that'll, that'll do me quite nicely. That's my, that's my go-to. What's yours then? Mine's a lovely Italian, nice lasagna. That's, that's me all over. You nice. have that every, every race weekend, don't you? Yeah. We go out for a meal, you always have that. That is a faithful. I don't, I don't like change. <laughs> you do an impression of each other. That's something you've ever... I know what's coming here. I don't really, I don't really have an impression, I don't think. Shuffles. Huh? <laughs> yeah, TikToks from last year, shuffles. Uh, I don't know, Nathan's a bit like a DiCaprio, you know, from Wolf of Wall Street. That's what everyone likes you to, isn't it? <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he loves it. That slick back haircut. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what, what flow you got. Yeah, literally your signet ring. <laughs> that little gold ring on there, little signet ring. That's all I know Josh for. <laughs> I think he's a good teammate because last year he didn't take me out. So that's a, that's a bonus. <laughs> so, no, in fairness to Josh, he's, he's easy to work with. Um, we experienced that last year in Minis, and we actually only live 20 minutes down the road, um, so we're both local uh, to Oxford. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to working with him again in a new challenge. Yeah, we, uh, we had a close shave at Knock Hill last year. I was weaving to get the, get the tyres warm and didn't see you coming up behind you. Big old sideways coming into the hairpin. Uh, went and said sorry afterwards, but uh, you yeah, know, we worked really well. Nate's been brilliant with me, kind of early stages of my career, just, just helping me out and um, you know, giving me tips and stuff. And hopefully, you know, maybe I can, I can um, replicate that and help out in any way I can with driving style, whatever in this. But yeah, no, we work really well together, have similar, similar driving styles um, and we get on. So yeah, should be really good. Hopes and dreams. Dreams would be to win the Euro Millions. <laughs> no, obviously the dream for this is to, to come out on top in Pro-Am. Um, 
that would be nice then to progress because this for me is a two-year plan um, with, with Team Hard. So to win Pro-Am this year and then go to the pros next year and see, hopefully try and get a top three. Yours? Again, be competitive in the AM class. Um, I think, you know, we, under no illusions it'll be, it'll be hard. We're, we're new to, new to rear-wheel drive racing and that kind of thing. But um, yeah, be competitive in the AM class. Again, two-year two year, um, kind of progression for us. Maybe looking Pro-Am or, or even Pro uh, next year. Uh, long term, would love to race at like Le Mans, proper GT racing. But you know, this is this is the pinnacle of, of kind of GT racing in the in the UK, really. So, yeah, um, just hoping to progress really and uh, and build some speed and, and competitiveness. Sounds good. If you weren't into cars, what would you be doing instead of being a racing driver? Not including your uh, what you do at the moment as your job, your car sales. What would you do? That's a good question, actually. Um, I really don't know. I've always been involved around cars, so my actual nine to five job is buying and selling cars. Um, I've always liked the thought of buying and selling houses, so it's kind of similar. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, real estate would be quite good. I've always wanted to look, look at that. But um, yeah, it's a good question actually. But I've, like I said, I've always been brought up around cars, so for me, I've never known any different, to be honest. I'm gonna reverse that question on you. Well, I'm at, I'm at uni doing engineering, so but I won't use that. Um, I don't know. Again, I've been brought up around cars with my dad and my uncle, so. Um, a professional sportsman of some sort. I used to play a lot of rugby and, and stuff like that, so I'd, I'd love to have been a, a professional rugby player or something like that. Not, um, didn't quite make it, but um, you know, I'm trying my hand at, at this racing. We seem to be going okay. So yeah, I'd probably say a professional sportsman of some sort. I think that'd be, that'd be quite cool. I've got another question for you, actually. Have you? Favourite celebrity crush? Oh, the missus isn't going to be happy with this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, Margot Robbie, it's got to be. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Oh, and Focus. Have you seen Focus? Yeah. 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 It'd be Mar Margot Robbie. I'd ask you the same thing, but Margot Robbie. Yeah. Easy answer. <laughs> I think making good teammates is bouncing off each other, learning off each other. Um, being supportive of each other for both race results. Um, so I think it's nice to have that bond that me and Josh get on really well. Uh, so yeah, I just think, and plus our parents as well, our family get on really well. So over a race weekend, it's like a big family. Um, so I think that's a whole package comes with it. So I think that's why we both, both get on really well. Yeah, I think I agree with you. It's that kind of open relationship, the ability to share data, but you know, go back to the motorhome afterwards and, and chill, get on, as, yeah. get on as mates, go out, for a, go out for a meal afterwards and kind of relax as well. Um, as you said, being a, a kind of a family atmosphere and, and that kind of stuff, but we kind of push each other in, in different elements. You know, we're, we're both competitive drivers, that's what we want to be. So um, pushing, it, pushing each other on track, but also having that ability to support each other, I think is, uh, yeah, works really well with, with the two of us. Why Team Hard, Nath? Why Team Hard? Me and Tony have been speaking for a couple of years now, um, trying to get in his touring car. Um, about five weeks ago, I was trying for a British touring car. Unfortunately, couldn't, couldn't raise the budget. Um, so Porsche, I looked at Porsche. Um, then me and Tony had a call and I think within a week the deal was done. Um, in the investment and time Tony's put in this, this year for his race team is what drawed me to Tony to race for him this year. So I think the package, what he's doing this year with the British touring car, the Porsche, I think he, we're, Team Hard is going in the right, right step for sure. Yeah, well f for me I can't see a reason not to go Team Hard. You know, there's the professionalism, the setup they've got, the cars, the engineers, Tony, the team. You know, it's all, it's all perfect is what you need. We've got experience, good teammate, good atmosphere. Um, you know, it, it's, it's ideal for us. He supports my sponsors very well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, for me, the reason is why not Team Hard? It's the whole yeah, package, I, I can't see one, exactly, yeah. I mean, you look how professional this setup is right now, that's, that's Team Hard for you. You know, everything's clean, everything's crisp. Um, what you look for in a, in a race team, really professional.